Hello everyone! Look at this fabulous easy cooking plate! Today we are going to cook 3 in 1 dish, namely chicken nuggets, onion rings and mozzarella cheese sticks. And 2 delicious sauces that be sure will be your favorite. So let's start! So we need sliced chicken breast, mozzarella, onion, flour, cornstarch, eggs, cornflakes and spices, salt, herbs and paper. We start from marinating chicken. I use salt, pepper and dry herbs. Here I have Italian mix, which include basil, rosemary and oregano. Also, you can add dry garlic or smoked paprika as you wish. Mix chicken with your favorite spices and leave until prepare other ingredients for at least 30 minutes. Then cut the onion into rings. Then cut the cheese for sticks. Use the type of cheese that melts good. Of course, mozzarella is the best variant. Cutting cheese, choose the length of the sticks as you like. We prefer shorter. But in any case, it is not the most important thing in the recipe. Then in a deep bowl, mix flour, 2 tablespoons of cornstarch, salt and paper. And mix it all well. If you don't have cornstarch, just use 2 tablespoons of simple flour. In separate bowl, beat 3-5 eggs. It depends how much chicken and cheese you are going to prepare. Then it's turn off the cornflakes. Cut them in the blender to a state of flour. Choose not sweet flakes, which contains 3-5% of sugar. Usually it is the cheapest one. Firstly, we bread the cheese, because it's important to freeze it for a while. First step to drop cheese into flour mixture, then into eggs and finally into grounded flakes. If bread doesn't cover all cheese sticks, repeat the procedure and put sticks into the fridge. I use tweezers because the butter sticks to my hands very quickly. This is how I avoid washing my hands too often. For frying I use deep pan and a bottle of vegetable oil. The oil should heat up very well. While the oil is heating up I bread chicken and onion the same as I did with cheese, dropping it into the flour mixture, then into the eggs and into the flakes, one by one, over and over. Very easy process but needs a little bit time. Of course, if you want, you can choose only one ingredient for cooking. But as for me, if you have already decided to spend your time making breading and heat up a lot of oil, why stop only at nuggets or cheese sticks? It's much tastier together. When the oil is heat up very well, we start frying our nuggets until deep golden crunchy crust. The time depends on the size of the slice. We had rather big nuggets, so we have cooked them for 4-5 minutes. Onion rings and cheese sticks we have been frying for 2 minutes. When you see the beautiful golden crunchy crust, you can pull it out. Do it on a kitchen towel to absorb excess fat. And my favorite part is our sauce. First sauce will be tomato. 
We need 5 tablespoons of sweet ketchup, 1 spoon of tomato paste and chopped small tomato, garlic and parsley. I won't make it spicy, so I add sriracha sauce, mix it up and bring it to the taste with spices. If the sauce is too sour for you, add a teaspoon of honey or sugar. And if it is the season and you have really sweet and tasty tomatoes, you can replace ketchup with them. The second sauce doesn't need a lot of ingredients, but it's also fantastic. All you need to mix Greek yogurt, garlic, two types of mustard, salt, pepper and 30 grams of cheese, any cheese you have. If after mixing all ingredients you'll find out that the sauce is too thick, just add to it a spoon or two of milk. Then the consistency will be more pleasant. Also, if you want more homogeneous sauce, you can use blender for mixing it. So, that's it! Spending an hour in the kitchen, you'll have the perfect dish for your family or friends. Nuggets is very juicy and in the company with other sauce, it's incredibly delicious. Don't forget that in other channel, you can find a lot of interesting, delicious and easy recipe. Now, I tell you goodbye and have a wonderful day!